There are people who are not married today. They are not married today because they have never been able to move past their last relationship. They have never been able to move past the last disappointment. And so today, they are not married. And they are not able to be married. And when they get into a relationship, the, what happened to them in the last relationship keeps having a bearing on how they are relating to this person. And eventually they break up. There are people who cannot keep jobs. Why? Because a relationship, that, the kind of relationship they had with their father, their father who was very overbearing, their father who they felt was unfair and punished them unfairly. Anytime they are employed and their boss does anything that reminds them of their father, they resign. They cannot stay in that job. So their father, although their father hurt them and injured them as a child, their father is continuing to injure them as an adult because what is happening to them is as a result of what their father or their mother did to them. So we can see that soul ties have to do with relationships. Some that we thought we had moved away from but do not realize that that relationship is affecting the way I think today, the way I feel my emotions, and the things that I do. We have seen that God intended, as we see in his word, that the foundation of every relationship be love. The foundation of every relationship be love. And we see even in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, when he says, hope, faith, and love. Pursue hope. Pursue faith. Pursue love. And in fact, God says without faith, it's impossible to please him. But he says the greatest is love. So where there is lack of love, we, can, we see the greatest damage. God intends that we value the people that we relate to the same way that he values them. He is our standard. The word of God is our standard for how we are to value and to love the people that we relate to. So any time that we, that we treat somebody or somebody else treats, treats us in a way that is less than the love and the value that God has for them or for us, an ungodly soul tie is formed. Any time I treat somebody less than how God treats them, I show them less love than what God shows them. I show them less value than what God shows them. Unfortunately, I form an ungodly soul tie with them. Anybody that has controlled me or manipulated me or hurt me very, very deeply or rejected me or harmed me physically or hated me intensely or devalued me i have ended up having an ungodly soul tie with them and we are going to see how though they are no longer in my life physically they are presently in my life in my mind in my emotions in the things that i do and even the way i see myself so let me give you an example you're a young man Engage to the love of your life. You love her and you're going to marry her. You are invited to a wedding. And you go there alone. You're invited to a wedding. And you enter the church and you sit down. As your eyes start to wander over the congregation, it stops at one person. And you recognize, you recognize that person. You recognize that person. You are interested in that person a long time ago and you pursued them with all the strength you have you tried all the tricks in the book people demand say do this it doesn't work <laughs> you know it didn't work and eventually she ended up marrying somebody else and you're seeing her, seeing her now sitting there with her husband and carrying a cute baby in her, in her arms your day is completely ruined you start reliving the rejection as if it happened yesterday. 
You're living it like it happened yesterday. You start feeling sad and then angry. Why? Because I feel devalued. They didn't value me and I'm angry that somebody did not value me. I'm no longer interested in the wedding or what is going on around me. And I start feeling the same way that I felt the time when they finally rejected me and moved away to another town. That pain has now come and I'm feeling it as I'm sitting here. It's been three years, but I'm, I'm having the feelings as though it happened yesterday. So you decide not to go to the reception because they look like they are very, very set for the reception. Okay, so you don't go to the reception. You have an ungodly soul tie with that person. 